we're part, here part of the climate movement and the different ways that we're all playing our part. And because of what Kieran's just said, I'm going to kick off by recognising there are some groups in this country that do their best to bring the voices of the global south to the corporations that are ex exploiting them. So I'm going to give a shout to so Global Justice Now, we've got the plat platform who were, yesterday were campaigning against UK government credit funding being given to fund fracking in Argentina, the London Mining Network comes to AGMs. So that is, that is one way that people are fighting climate change. And we've heard from so many different ways today. The people who put their bodies on the front line to fight, fight fracking. And the aviation... Oh, she has to have a cheer for each of these. Fracking coming, yeah. Good. Um, we are, um, we've got the aviation campaigners. Yeah. There's, the government might, might have voted through a third runway at Heathrow, but the fight is still going on and there are more fights against aviation expansion around the country. Yes. We get, and a shout out to those who do the really tough work of trying to talk to politicians and change their mind about climate change. Speaking directly to them, because now that is gruelling work. <laughs> and even out to, shout out to the independent journalists particularly, but other journalists who are trying to break through the apathy and denial in the mainstream media on climate change and get the word through about the urgency of the climate crisis. So that's a cheer for them. Yeah. Um, and, oh, we've got a request for the photographers. They want to cheer for the photographers. Yeah. We've got the, pe the people who work on community energy who are dealing with the trying to install renewable energy in the face of government cuts and systems ever more and more difficult. People bring practical solutions in place on the ground. And we shout out the trade unionists to campaign for climate jobs. And, and, uh, and yeah, we had it at the beginning, but let's have a shout out for Extinction Rebellion. We're getting the word out about urgency. We hope that there will be a good outcome from the UN climate talks in Poland. But either way, the fight goes on. And I want to bring it back to, um, because I think it's worth saying again about the Australian school children students who went out yesterday. So, yesterday in Australia, over 8,000 school students walked out of the school. They filled the streets in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. On Wednesday before that, like 1,700 went to the Parliament in Canberra. The Prime Minister said, tell them to go back to school. The Australian Resources Minister said that they should, literally, he said this, they should be in school learning about mines, geology, and how to drill for oil and gas. That's, that's just my villain. So, those, but those kids, they are not going to sit down, they are not going to shut up, they are not going to be silenced, and neither are we. Yeah. The climate change movement is an international movement, but I've described the different ways that people are campaigning. There is a place in that movement for every person. It may not be campaigning the same way, it may not be doing the same things, but, there's, but we all can go away and play our part in the most urgent challenge humanity has ever faced. Thank you so much for coming today.